Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles and in this video we're going to continue with setting up some additional mechanics, but this time we're going to start looking into actual attacking in melee and those types of things. So we're going to take a look at first installing uh, the Game Creator Melee module. All right. So for this video, that's what generally this is what's going to be about. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is head over to the let's see window and then I'm going to head over to the package manager and then I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to look for the melee all right perfect all right so this is the melee here and so um, it's pretty awesome and it's going to get get us or allow us to do lots of cool things with our character um, right now in my brain, I think that the character is going to attack their enemies using a hammer. And you might have saw me looking at a hammer on the asset store. As you can see, I had a uh, something called a mystic hammer. We're going to be that's going to be more like a placeholder. But um, for now, we're going to use a hammer and we're going to use the melee module to allow us to swing and attack enemies. So. I'm going to go ahead and import that here. If you haven't already purchased this, just head over to uh, unity.com, head into the asset store and download the melee module. And then I'm going to hit import here. Nothing to import. And that is probably because did I already add it? I think I did. I think I already added it. And let's just confirm that is, that is the case. I'm going to head over to game creator. And then I'm going to go to module manager. And if you can see here, yep, I already did it. So if you haven't done it, all you would have to do once you import everything, you head over to game creator, head over to the module manager, and then you would just select update. Okay. And then wait for it to update and you'll be good to go. You'll have everything you need to get it started. Okay. All right. So. Generally speaking, uh, just to take a look at another thing, we're just going to take another quick look at the hammer. And so this is what I'm going to be using for our initial weapon. This is just something to get us going here. And um, yeah, this is going to be the hammer we're going to use. So if you want to use a sword, if you want to use a hammer, if you want to use a stapler, it doesn't matter. As long as you have something in your hand that you can use to attack an enemy with, that's fine. Um, but we're going to use this hammer. And I do want to look into possibly also having our character possibly jump onto an enemy and attack them, kind of like a Mario style. But I haven't um, necessarily thought that through yet, but we'll look into that. All right. So this video is really quick. It's just to let you know that that's where we're going with this. And that's going to be the next few videos. We're going to be dealing with setting up, basically understanding how the melee uh, module works. Uh, we're going to get our characters set up with melee. Then we're going to start talking about how we're going to reduce health from both our character. And then we're going to look at our enemy and reduce their health. And then that's going to lead us right into the menu and the HUD and all those things. All right, great. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or, of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.